guys, my name is Eleni. Welcome to Overly Emotional Cooking, a show that takes cooking to heart. And when you take things to heart, you eat all your feelings. Every last one. Till there are no more. I'm jumping right back into Overly Emotional Cooking with spaghetti squash Alfredo. Um, not a chicken Alfredo, we're using pieces of ham in it. This is a super easy recipe, even if you're not watching your carbs, you can totally give it a go. Things you will need, spaghetti squash, garlic, butter, cream or milk, I'm using mozzarella mixed with a Greek cheese called caseri, and ham. Did I say ham? Ham. You can make this as a side dish or you can make it as your main dish. You know, keep it exclusive so it doesn't get jealous of all the other dishes in your life. Spaghetti squash is super easy to make. So you just take the spaghetti squash, you cut it in half, you scoop out all the seeds in the middle, and then you put some salt, pepper, a little bit of butter if you like. I put two halves on the on a baking tray, 400 degrees, about half an hour, and you're ready. I'm using two large spaghetti squashes for this recipe, and it's for four people. When it's done, and you take it out of the oven, you can take a fork and then just watch all the lovely spaghetti form. You put it in a bowl, you leave it, and the really good thing is you can make it in advance, especially if you're very, very busy, like me, that all of a sudden I've gotten this crazy burst of productivity and I'm making like a billion videos. In a pan, add the butter, let it melt, add the garlic. I don't have garlic because I totally knew from three days in advance that I was going to cook this. And I assumed I had garlic, because this damn place always has garlic, and there's no garlic. But put your garlic in, let it just soften a bit with some salt, throw the ham in. The ham, I'm using cooked ham slices. They're cooked, the garlic and the ham to be sauteed and make beautiful flavor babies. And we are all witnessing the magic. We're gonna add cream and you can add milk if you prefer. Keep it on low heat, let her simmer, low and slow. Easy peasy, sexy simmer time. Now if you love all the carbs, I understand you. I really, really like you and I think we should hang out. But at that point you'd be adding maybe a little bit of flour to thicken up the sauce. If you don't wanna add flour, you can add just mounds and mounds of cheese. Throw that all in there, give it a really good stir. And we're almost at the end because once everything has simmered and all the melty meltiness has happened, then you just throw in the spaghetti squash and you force them to get along and become one. This is the end result and it's easy peasy up top. Seriously, you're just gonna leave me hanging?